Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome back to another LEGO Ideas review. So today I'm really excited to be taking a look at set number 21345, the Polaroid One Step 5X70 camera. This set includes 516 pieces for the high price of $80 when it releases on January 1st of 2024. I also did want to say right off the bat that this set should be available at all retailers as of January 1st, 2024, not just LEGO stores and shop at home. Looking at the box art, we get that plain black background for these 18 plus set with a faint blue light behind your main model. You also get a specialized logo, which right above it will note that this is LEGO idea set number 53. Really crazy that we're climbing up the ladder there. And you also get your grebling from the very bottom, which will feature your ideas logo as well as your other regular information. Spinning around to the back of the box, we have some information about LEGO ideas in general, as well as some of the features and the measurements for this particular set. So without a further ado, let's bust this thing open. Really unfortunate that it has push tabs. Do question whether or not this will have paper or plastic bags or not. Let's find out. Opening up the box, still no paper bags. We have four numbered bags, one loose bag featuring some of the larger plate pieces, and we also get one of those folders which will feature your stickers, instructions, as well as those photo pieces. One thing that should make fans really happy is that this set doesn't have a lot of stickers. We only get four. Quick peek at the instructions. Unlike your box art, you'll have a plain white background behind your model of the Polaroid camera. You'll get some information about the transition to paper bags, which still hasn't happened in North America, I guess. Some information about the designer of this set, which you can pause and read if you want to. And you'll also get this information in quite a few different languages. As we continue on, some information about the guy who actually made the Polaroid, so that's pretty cool. Love seeing this information, definitely something that I'll have to look at on my own time. I honestly really love seeing this kind of stuff within the instructions. It's just really, really cool information. And then some more from the design team, which it does look like they had some fun putting together these instructions. I love all the colors. Back of the instructions, they get that Polaroid rainbow stripe. Love that. Win information for 18 plus. Peace count for a few pages. Some information about LEGO Ideas showing the three most recent sets from 2023, or at least three of the more recent sets from last year. And that brings us to the final overall model for this particular set. So yeah, that's all that I have to say about the box content, so let's take a look at the final overall model. The build for the Polaroid is small for the price that you pay, but if you're not looking at the price of this set, you're completely ignoring that. I think that this is probably one of my favorite LEGO Ideas sets in a while, and it is still much cheaper than many other LEGO Ideas sets that are currently on the market at $80, but still that price point is really the curdle of this set. To start off our journey with the LEGO Polaroid, I did want to talk about the photographs which are included, and these are done on a type of plastic paper, I think, just because they're really reflective and they, they feel nice. It's not crappy paper, so I do really appreciate that. You get a total of three of them. They are printed from both sides, so you can have just like this blank photograph if you want, or you can have the one that LEGO provided to you, which is really nice. You get the copyright from the very bottom, 2024, the LEGO group, and also the part number listed from the back of each of these. Now, when it comes to what's actually included on the front of these photographs, I would bet that the fan designer had some say in this, as we do actually get their sister referenced as one of the photographs, which I think is really nice that they included their sister as one of the people who inspired them to put this set up on LEGO Ideas. We also get the LEGO house, never been there, would love to visit their vault sometime. And then finally we have probably what is the most interesting one as it's teasing what we could have possibly have gotten as an additional minifigure in this set. We have the inventor of the Polaroid, Edwin H. Land, and 
it's really cool to see that they included this as a reference. Again, if they included him as an actual minifigure, I think some people would have reconsidered getting this set upon release, though definitely that price point is still very, very scary no matter what. Included to store your photographs, we happen to get this film pack, which includes two brand new prints, one on this 6x6 tile, which says Time Zero Supercolor SX70 Land Film, and then underneath it a 2x6 tile piece with the words Polaroid. We get the Polaroid rainbow from the very bottom, and you get a nice slot in order to store your photographs. You can slide them right in, and they fit very nice and easily. Do wish that they had like a cover for this as typically if you're working in like a dark room with photographs, you would have them covered up or something. And finally, that brings us to the build of the actual Polaroid camera. Now this really does feel nice in my hands. I'm really happy with the final outcome of this build. I think LEGO did a really great job and even down to including some of the features on this thing, which are, they actually work, which make me really happy, including the viewfinder, which I can't really show this very well on screen, but it works. You look through here, you see what you would be taking a picture of. It it's perfect. You can see the little window where your eye would travel through from the front. From the very front, you'll also see the color exposure dial. This you can turn as you see fit, and it's also one of the elements that includes a sticker, which is a little disappointing that it's a sticker, but, you know, it gets the job done, and I really do love how they used this piece in particular for it. It works to great effect. We have the lens, which is completely black to my surprise. I thought that they would have used a trans clear dish piece in here, just like we saw with the creator camera, though I think black works even better as you still get that reflective look. Another sticker that you can see up here is on a 1x3 tile. We have the words one step. So we have the Polaroid one step SX70 camera. If you want to, you can remove that tile piece and switch it out with another stickered tile piece that has 1000 so now we turn the polaroid one step into a polaroid 1000 which i think is really nice that they include an option to switch it up i don't know if any of the other features on the camera switch when it comes to switching it between the two if so lego does nothing to change the camera in any other way if you change it to 1000 and here comes my favorite part of the set we have this printed two by two circular tile piece for the button that will eject your photograph, which I haven't put in yet. We're gonna show how you do that now. So from the very bottom here, you'll see that we have the little slot, which is where our photograph will come out. We can open this up very carefully, just by pulling a little bit. You'll also see some of the inner workings, which I think is really cool that they have some of the features like this, which would help roll out your picture. Now, in order to load in your photograph, you're going to want to put the camera on its back like this, and then you're going to want to plop the photo in and push it all the way back. This is when you can fully enclose the camera yet again. And in order to shoot it out, you can press the button and it'll make a nice popping sound and you can pull your photograph right out of the camera. This is a really amazing function. Very pleased with how LEGO was able to do that. And this time we're gonna do it from this angle just so then you can see it coming out from the side. That noise really does it all for me. I love that they were able to give you a noise to represent the photo coming out of the camera and just the whole gear system that they were able to interwork in here just to make this button work to bring your photo out of the camera. Definitely one of the best parts of this set. Finishing off, one thing I do have to comment on is tiled off or studded look for this set, which is an argument that many fans have to say about all sets like this. These 18 plus collector sets should they have studs or should they be fully tiled off and 
look like the actual real thing. You can't tell that it's Lego at all. I mean, looking at this from the front like this, it looks like a real Polaroid. When you spin it around to the back, you can definitely tell that there's some Lego here. Just something to think about. And lastly, I do have to comment on some of the pieces in here which are rather uncommon, like these pieces over here in this black color which we saw introduced within the Donkey Kong sets. I believe in this color it comes in one or two more. We have this corner slope piece from the top of the viewfinder here. This doesn't come in too many sets, so it's nice to see it in here. And then finally, from the very front of the build, we have the actual wheel for the lens, which I believe is a brand new color for this particular set, at least according to the part number that I looked up. For $80, I definitely recommend waiting on a discount just because for the price that you pay 516 pieces, you get three exclusive prints if you don't count the photographs, which are exclusive as well. Everything else is stickered, it's not too many stickers, but just the size of this thing, $80, you could get a camera very similar size to this for $20 from LEGO Creator on the same day, January 1st, 2024. I definitely think this is going to be a popular set once collectors can get it on a slight discount. It shouldn't be hard for this set to get on a discount as it will be widely available for most retailers from release. But as I said, it really does come down to the price point of this set. As far as the features go and the build, I think this is a just amazing and it's perfect. It's exactly what I would have wanted out of a Lego Polaroid. It's just the price is a little high for what you get. It's it's small and I think it could even get the real thing for roughly the same price. So yeah, that's all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!